Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, you are going to learn the new HTTP client introduced in Java 11. Let's start and follow my steps. First, make sure to have installed in your machine Java 11 or above. In my case, as you can see, I have installed OpenJDK 17. Create an empty file called HTTP client movie.java and open it with your favorite editor. In my case, I'm going to open it with Visual Studio Code. Then declare a simple Java class, HTTP client movie, putting the main method. In this video, we are going to call an external API, api.tvmaze.com, where we can specify a TV series. Let's copy the URL to call and go back to our code. Create a new HTTP client object using the new HTTP client method introduced in Java 11. Then, with the new builder method, create the request putting the URL copied in the previous step and the request will be a GET request. Let's create a dedicated variable for the request. We have created the HTTP client and we have created the request. Now let's send the request using the synchronous method send, putting the request and the response as a string. Don't forget to try catch or throw all the possible exceptions arise by the send method. Then create a dedicated variable to handle the HTTP response as string object and print the body of the response inside the console. Now let's finally run our code. Well done! We can see inside the console the response from the api.tvmaze.com. Inside the console, we can even print the headers of the response using the method .headers.map. We can see the status code 200 or the content type is a JSON inside the header. In this second part of the video, we are going to call the external service in a synchronous way using the method send async available in Java 11. Also in this case, we have to specify the request and the body of the response as string. Let's create a dedicated variable for the response as a completable future HTTP response because we are sending an asynchronous request. Always because we are handling asynchronous response, we have to use the then accept method to, let's say, catch the response when it's ready. Also in this case, we have different method to use. So let's print the body inside the console. In Java, you trigger the calls and later on, when you are ready to block, you have to call the get or join method. Good. Let's run it. We can see the response coming from the first call and then that one coming from the second call. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new videos that I will upload and see you in the next one. Bye.